As the rain pours down, the boys from Hyde Public psych themselves up. Many of them hadn't heard of rugby a few years ago, but they're beating the odds and better resourced opponents. We're an anomaly. We're the, the only all African American team in this country. We're the only one of the only inner city teams. And that means the challenges the boys tackle off the field are much greater than anything they face on us. We have had kids themselves actually killed. We have had parents of kids them, um, themselves actually killed. We've had parents of kids killed in front of the kids. The school is in one of DC's poorest neighbourhoods. The team bus is regularly shot at, and yet the players keep winning. But the students' greatest triumphs are happening in the classroom. Their rugby success is making them more confident, more ambitious. And as a result, every student who's finished the rugby program here has gone on to college. An extraordinary achievement in such a disadvantaged neighbourhood. Part of the credit belongs to the New Zealand Embassy. It wants to spread the rugby religion and its financial support keeps the team afloat. They've shown that they've picked up a lot of the skills that rugby can give people in terms of discipline, uh, leadership uh, and a feeling of belonging to a team and, uh, and doing something constructive. Travell Blunt's home life has so disrupted he's lived in six houses in seven months. He says rugby has changed his life. The rugby got me out of a lot of trouble, a whole lot of trouble. Engage. <laughs> He's now a leader on a cash-strapped team that's rich in spirit. Mark Simpkin, ABC News, Washington. Again, again. Get around, get around, get around. That's not a haka, but this team has been called the real All Blacks. They're the only African-American rugby team in the United States. Rugby is just off the walls. The only equipment you have, nothing to protect you, you know. And that's basically it. Like, some people just like to compare with football, but it's nothing like football nothing at all. Football. I think it's way better than football. The Hyde School draws players from the Washington, D.C., you rarely see. A lot of our kids come to our school initially because either they were struggling in traditional public schools, getting into trouble, getting tossed out of schools. The kids are often born into the ghetto. At Hyde, rugby shows them the way out. Like when you play rugby, uh, it tends to make you work hard on the field, especially if it's like your first time. And then like you, see, you seem to get motivated to work harder in other things you do. The game took off here because of New Zealand's top team. And they found out the name of the team was the All Blacks and they were like going nuts further because they didn't understand the All Blacks was because of the uniform, they're thinking it was all black people. All of the Hyde team will go on to university. For kids from such tough backgrounds, that's unheard of. And these good results are helped by the New Zealand Embassy and the expat rugby underground. Each year, Kiwis come from as far away as San Francisco to raise funds for Hyde rugby and play for the Ambassador's Shield. With corporate sponsorship, this year's total was over 20,000 New Zealand dollars, more than enough to keep the pride in Hyde. Tim Wilson, One News, Washington, D.C.